Hey DIYers, Jared with Alarm Grid here. Today we're going to talk about uh, if there is a tilt sensor compatible with the Qualysys IQ Panel 2. Um, yes, there is a uh, tilt sensor that is compatible with the Qualysys IQ Panel 2 and also the Qualysys IQ Panel 2 Plus. Um, the garage or the tilt sensor um, is a tilt sensor that it's a certain sensor that you would use on the garage doors um, to let you know whether that garage door is being opened or closed. Normally you can't use um, a normal door and window contact on the garage door because um, sometimes it's just too big of a gap between the garage door and the wall um, or even the frame. It really depends on the situation and, and how uh, that's spaced out. Now if that gap is too large and the sensor and the magnet are not close to each other, then they're not going to transmit the signals correctly or they're not even going to um, uh, show that the sensor is not faulted or work correctly at all. So in that case, a garage door tilt sensor is the best way to go. Um, the garage door tilt sensor you can use with the Qualsys system is the uh, Qualsys IQ Tilt S. Um, <clears throat> as I said, this is a sensor that you would put on the garage door um, and it would let you know whether that garage door is being opened or closed. Um, the way that this works is that um, you would place it, so normally with a garage door there's um, like panels where it goes up and then the panels fold over the top. So you would want to place the garage door tilt sensor at the very top that, at the very top panel. The first one that's going to fold over when that garage door opens. So this, the sensor normally is going to sit like this and then when the garage door opens it's going to tilt over and be like that and that's when it's going to trip the sensor. Um, and then it's going to notify the Qualysys system that the garage door is being opened. So the garage door tilt sensor is very effective for that um, to let you know whether that garage door is being opened or closed. Um, obviously, if the sensor is not faulted, then it's not going to show that the garage door is open. Um, if the sensor is faulted, then you'll know if the garage door is open. Now, for this uh, garage, door, garage door tilt sensor, you can set it up for uh, to do different things with the response types. So, uh, for instance, you can set it up as like a normal um, entry exit zone. So, if anybody were to enter that garage or open the garage door, it's going to trigger the entry delay period, and you will have to disarm the system before the alarm is triggered. Um, you can set it up as a perimeter sensor if you wanted to, so that if, if that garage door is opened, it's going to immediately trigger the alarm. Um, or you could just set it up to send you sensor notifications. Um, so if that garage door is open, it's not going to trigger the alarm, it's not going to do anything like that, it's just going to send you a notification or notify you that that garage door is being open. Now, you can set a sensor notification up within alarm.com if you'd like to, so that at least whenever that garage door is opened, um, as I said, it's not gonna trigger the alarm, but you can receive that notification through alarm.com letting you know, um, you know what's going on with the garage door. Now, normally a lot of people like to set up um, garage door Z-Wave controllers, um, so at least they'll be able to control that garage door uh, either on the system itself or through alarm.com. With the garage door uh, Z-Wave controller, you can um, open and close it from the panel or alarm.com, and with the garage door tilt sensor, at least you'll be able to know that that garage door is being open or closed, um, or you can see a live status whether that, that garage door is open or closed anywhere you are. Um, you, anywhere you are as in being able to see it through alarm.com. Um, you can also see it on the panel itself because it will show uh, the sensors that are being faulted at the time on the uh, the main screen. Now, <clears throat> uh, the garage door Z-Wave controller that you can use, um, it, or that is compatible with the Qualysys, is the Linear GD00Z. Um, we do have it on our website. You can use that with the garage doors. Um, it is set up to be able to be set up with um, like existing garage door controllers. So if you want to take a look at it, um, just follow the link in the in the FAQ that we have, and uh, you'll be able to check it out. So I'd like to at least let you know that there are different versions of the Qualysys IQ Panel 2 Plus available. Um, there is a, the legacy Interlogix version of the Qualysys IQ Panel 2 Plus. Uh, this is a 319.5 megahertz version of the Qualysys system. Um, it supports the legacy Interlogix sensors, S-Line sensors, and Power-G sensors. Um, there's the Honeywell version of the Qualysys IQ Panel 2 Plus. Um, this supports Honeywell sensors and 2 gig sensors and Power-G. Um, now the Honeywell and 2 gig sensors are going to use 345 megahertz um, for, to communicate with the system. And then lastly, there is the uh, DSC version of the Qualysys. Um, it supports DSC 433 megahertz sensors and Power G sensors, which is 915 megahertz if you wanted to look into that. Now, unfortunately for the DSC version of the Qualysys IQ Panel 2 Plus, um, there is not a compatible uh, tilt sensor available, but the Honeywell version and the Legacy Interlogix version both do. So, 
for the Honeywell and 2 gig version of the Qolsys IQ Panel 2 Plus, uh, it does, you can use, or sorry, it can use the uh, 2 gig Tilt 1-345. Um, that is a, a tilt sensor that uh, 2 gig has available. And then for the Honeywell, uh, if you wanted to use a Honeywell sensor, it would be the Honeywell 5822T. Um, now for the Interlogix version, uh, which is the 319.5 megahertz, um, you can use the Qualsys IQ Tilt S, as I mentioned a little bit before, um, but you can also use the Interlogix TX E401. Um, that is another uh, tilt sensor that's available for it. And also, um, Qualsys says that the WST, or the Ecolink WST401 is also compatible with the Qualsys system as well, or uh, the legacy Interlogix version of the Qualsys. Um, they do say that that sensor is Interlogix compatible, so if you wanted to uh, take a look at another tilt sensor that's available, go ahead and uh, check out the Ecolink WST401. So that concludes everything in regards to the uh, garage root tilt sensor for the Qualsys IQ Panel 2. Um, if you have any further questions about the uh, about any more garage door tilt sensors or alarm systems in general, please contact us at support at alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you want notifications of future videos, please click the bell icon. This is Jared with Alarm Grid. Give yourself a great day.